How's it going? Welcome. So we have got a for birthday, right? Our first one uh, of the promo. Um, arguably the worst one, but uh, we did get them out of our save packs. We saved a bit uh, over the Silver Star promo. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's still looks decent. Um, of course, if you do have that, I think, signature signing so. Um, and also... Uh, the Costage card, you know, you have some Frankfurt players in there, uh, and Dika, uh, and Dika, is it Indica, and Dika. Um, so, you know, you have some options there for linkability. I've heard some, some people already using some of their Japanese players. Um, I remember, was it 20? FIFA 20? Um, we had a bunch of Japanese players, uh, in the storyline. So, uh, yeah, Japan's always a cool nation, I feel like, to use in-game. Um, you have Nakata, uh, the Mura, the Nakam, um, Nakam? Is it Nakamura? Nakamura, I think, was that his name? Um, but anyways, yeah, yeah, you have a decent amount of selection um, in which you can use this guy, um, and it looks like a fun, another fun card. You know, it's it's not necessarily the most meta, um, but you know, I still think he's he's especially after using him, I think he's he's definitely still a good, um, a viable option in competitive play. Now, uh, the first thing I do want to talk about, right, his dribbling. So of course, with the five star skill move upgrade. Um, if you're not a skill, it's going to be a very enjoyable card to, you know, to use on the ball. Um, I personally am not great at skilling. I'd say I'm extremely average. I kind of use really basic skill moves uh, that I find effective. Uh, you know, the ball roll. Um, the five-star skillers, you know, the reverse elastico I think is one of the most uh, overpowered uh, skill moves if you can get off. Uh, it's just really hard to contain um, on the defensive side. But, yeah, I thought with the skill moves, he also has the 91 ball control, 93 dribbling. Um, I think if you use him correctly, um, he's extremely dangerous inside uh, and around that area, 18-yard um, box. You know, you're going to be able to uh, create a lot um, with the, the technical ability. Um, now, I wouldn't say, you know, he, he's not exactly clunky. Maybe a little stiff at times. Um, it's weird, right? He's six foot. Um, he's got that lean body type, 90 agility, 80, uh, 88 balance. Uh, the left stick, you know, when you try to change direction, he's not extremely explosive. Um, but I thought the general mobility, you know, you can see his movement. Uh, just just from watching these, you know, you can see he feels uh, generally decently uh, fluid. Um, but yeah, the dribbling is it's definitely unique. It's it's not something I could compare to any other player in the game. Uh, the, the pace, uh, 89 acceleration. 82 sprint speed. That acceleration is more important. Um, you know, if you use him in the cam position, it won't be too much of an issue. Um, he'll be able to, you know, maybe you know beat his man for the most part. But uh, if you do play him um, in a right attacking mid, like a wide attacking mid or a striker role, you'll definitely want to boost that um, up. Uh, the shooting, I wouldn't say he's a consistent goal scorer, very hit or miss, um, especially with that 79 shot power. Um, he doesn't have that shot type where he can just drive it. Um, and beat the keeper with power. Um, but I think the most important thing to note here is his movement off the ball. You can see he's very dynamic um, and his AI intelligence uh, if you don't do the user runs. He's very smart when it comes to these runs. You can see a lot of instances uh, where he's able to create his own chances by finding space uh, in behind the defense. Uh, he's also got that 96 uh, attack positioning. So definitely one of my favorite things about the card. Um, also uh, 85 finishing, which is decent. Um, average, uh, I think you need to boost it. I think we used a dead eye, uh, which I th would highly recommend. Uh, the passing, probably my favorite thing about the card. Um, you know, very good playmaker, very good creator. You can see a lot of the uh, types of passes, especially the over the top through balls, very accurate. Um, he's got that 91 vision, uh, 88 short pass, 87 long pass, the playmaker trait as well. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, if you pick up the ball in the midfield, um, you know, just try maybe. Um, some of those through balls, those over the tops, great example here, right? You find space, and then we're able to play it over. Uh, I think that is to Kyle Walker. So yeah, I thought his um his playmaking, he's he's more of a playmaker, you know, not necessarily would describe him as a goal scoring, um, attacking midfielder, but more of uh, a chance creator more than anything. So yeah, I uh, I think it's a it's a fun card. I think with that five star weak, uh, sorry, five star skill move, four star weak foot combination, um, very good dribbling stats. Um, also very good distribution. Um, I think he's a very good uh, budget option for that cam position, especially, like I said, if you still have that so, uh, so card, um, it's a nice Frankfurt link. So yeah, I would definitely recommend trying him out. Um, even Info Champs, um, the competitive play, I still thought he was very effective. So yeah, that's going to be my review. Please like, of course, subscribe.
Comment down below who you'd like to see next, and thank you for watching.